Here's a field for that ninth race. The first lady for two-year-old fillies, one Ms. Sport Hill. On by Jack and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, Mystical Marker Farms of Homewood, Illinois, with Tony Morgan, 1A Dream Baby. Owned also by Jack and Peggy Hood and Mystical Marker Farm with Brent Holland. Two just a juxtaposition, owned by uh, Don Trilling, by Gary Skerlock, Howard Zimmerman, all of Illinois, Sam Widgers up. 2A Tribal Luminescence, owned by Lyle Skerlock of Newton with Lance Skerlock in the bike. Three Skip Along Misty, owned by Four More Stable and Mark Franzen of Illinois, McGee. Dave McGee will drive. Four Sissy. On by Junior and Reggie Winters of Carrollton, Tom Simmons in the sulky. Five, Society Brad, owned by Vernon, Tim, and Gary Barbary by William Ryder, all of Carmi with John Campbell. Six, Breezing by you, owned by DBB's Tomahawk Stable of Gaston, Indiana, Rocky Loney gets a call. Seven, Our Golden Promise, owned by Neil Miller, Beverly Hills, California, with Joe Anderson. And number eight, Ruby Jane, owned by Kay Willis of Salem, Dale Heitman behind Ruby Jane. Those ten fillies in the First Lady Final for a purse of 50000 Pacing two-year-old fillies are at the post. The gate is moving. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Our golden promise firing from the outside. Outside her, Ruby Jane out very fast on the rail, Ms. Sport Hill. Between them getting away quickly also is Skip Along Misty as that field powers into the turn. Skip Along Misty between Phillies finds daylight and finds the lead. She'll lead him by a length on the outside of her. Trying to move up is our golden promise. Getting a trip third along the inside, Ms. Sport Hill. Four is Sissy. Five is Society Brat. Racing six, Ruby Jane. Park seven, Tribal Luminescence. Eight is Breezing Bayou. Getting out nine is Dream Baby. And as they roll down the backside, now Tribal, uh, Tribal Luminescence shuffle back to trail. Field of pacing fillies off the quarter in 27 and four, rolling as they hit the back stretch. And our Golden Promise has the lead by a length and a half for Anderson. Skip along Misty, getting a trip second, Ms. Sport Hill third. And on the outside, moving up now as they race to the half mile mark uh, and closing ground very, very quickly as they race past that mark is Society Brat. They race past the half and 57-1. They're headed in the upper turn and racing with the lead. Our golden promise as they drive toward the three-quarter mile mark out and driving around the upper turn and off the lead now by just a neck as they race that way is Society Brat. They're headed toward three quarters on the inside. Our golden promise racing third along the rail. Skip along Misty. Fourth on the outside, following cover is a juxtaposition. Racing on the inside, five, Miss Sport Hill, six on the outside. As a race pass, a three-quarter is Dream Baby. The three-quarter mile mark and 126. Phillies at the top of the lane. Our Golden Promise trying to hold on on the outside. Society Brad is there. And now, middle of the racetrack, here comes juxtaposition. And fanning across the racetrack was Miss Sport Hill. They're coming from everywhere. A charge. Juxtaposition gets to the front. Outside her, Miss Sport Hill. Third, our Golden Promise to the wire. Juxtaposition wins it. Juxtaposition by a neck over Miss Sport Hill. Our Golden Promise was third. Then a multiple Philly photo for four, five, six, and one fifty-five, two. That one belongs to Juxtaposition Sammy Widger. 1998 First Lady for Illinois Conceived and Fold. Two-year-old Pacers. Don Trilling, Gary Skerlock, and Howard Zimmerman's Juxtaposition Sammy Widger. $25,000 and the trophy await this filly. Moving now into victory lane, where the winning filly will be greeted by the First Lady of the State of Illinois, Mrs. Brenda Edgar. For eight years, Mrs. Edgar has been a fixture here at DuCoin. We appreciate the grace that she has added to our sport and the beauty, and we welcome her back to victory lane. Sadly enough for her final visit in the capacity of First Lady, but we certainly hope to see the Edgars here in 1999 at the DuCoin State Fair. First Lady Brenda Edgar presents the First Lady Trophy to a happy group of owners. Longtime owner Don Trilling and Howard Zimmerman, Gary Skerlock, who resides at Newton, Illinois, trains this winning filly. Big year for the Skerlocks of Newton. Pair of fillies in this race, 
Triboluminescence being the other. He'll win the three-year-old along with a host of excellent raceway horses. Uh, is from nearby Marion, Illinois. So we know why she and the governor come to Ducoin and enjoy it so much because